Let's take a look at the stories making headlines in Nigeria newspapers this morning, starting off with the uh, Daily Times and the lead story there. Uh, we've already taken that in the news earlier, talking about se Senate and uh, reps to confer with President Tinubu as killings escalate in Benue, Katsina and other states. Also, Wiki, that's the FCT minister, to ban open grazing in the FCT. CBN sells fresh 1.3 trillion naira in treasury bills at 21.5 percent. This to curb inflation. FG threatens to revoke licenses of discos over poor power supply. On food crisis, customs intercept sack of beans, sacks of beans, I should say, going to Bene Republic. APC leader to Tinubu in a letter says you are failing. And FCT also to commence distribution of palliatives in Abuja councils. Next is Blueprint. NAS to pali Tinubu as terrorists kill 15 Benue state troops. Neutralize five IPOP gunmen in Imo rescues Amfara. 15 kidnapped victims and 10 suspected killers of Islamic cleric murder nabbed. Three days after looting Abuja warehouse, Tinubu orders distribution of grains to residents and uh, up above the masthead, captioned alleged 7.6 billion naira fraud. Appeal court quashes federal government's bid to rearrange former Abia state governor Oji Uzo Kalu. All right, truck, a sad one here. Truck kills graduate awaiting NYC call up in uh, Abia. And finally, on blueprint, 300 Kano prison. Inmates incarcerated without record of crimes. That's according to an official. On the front page of Daily Trust, as we see now, a splash of stories there, one of which is reps seeking a 100,000 minimum wage for workers. Jigawa Assembly impeaches two principal officers, suspend four chairmen, uh, four chairmen of local governments, and uh, Minister for finance, uh, Buhari's eight years of printing money without productivity caused inflation uh, there. The big story there is on the UN confirming the abduction of more than 200 women, uh, female internally displaced persons in Borno State. We also took that uh, in the news earlier on the show. Families ask federal government, National Assembly to rescue their loved ones. And terrorists are reported to have burnt IDP houses at Dikwa. Also, more than 40 killed as militia groups clash in Benue State. Herder, 50 cows, ship, killed in plateau attack. And uh, MPA grew revenue to 501 billion naira in 2023. And we are looking at New Telegraph now. Jambo case use of ordinary HP pencil in UTME mock exam. POS pushes ATM transactions down by 26.3% to 5.21 trillion. The big story there is captioned Nigeria farmers, we pay ransom to bandits at gunpoint to access our farms. They also warn of looming food crisis. FG's bid to guarantee food security a mirage with current insecurity. That's a, a reaction there. And in other stories, additional calls for restructuring devolution of power says that that will address Nigeria's economic, social, political challenges. Reps demand living wage for Nigerian workers. All right. And uh, next is uh, Silent Times. Buhari's administration printed Naira for eight years without matching production. 22.7 trillion Naira ways and means policy destroyed the economy. Now, 10 arrested over killing of Zamfara Muslim scholar Sheikh Abubakar says uh, is in the news now 10 arrested for the killing of uh, the scholar Sheikh Abubakar. Mom charged with murdering 10-year-old daughter. Adelabu threatens to revoke the school's licenses over poor power supply. All right, to this Nigeria now. 40 feared killed as militia gangs clash in Benue. Nas to meet Tinubu over security challenges. 
Federal government pays tribute to late banking titan Herbert Wigwe and his family. Vice President quoted as saying, he bloomed long before his co-travelers. Cattle roaming will end in Abuja. FCT Minister Yesum Wiki vows. Edo Assembly serves Shwaibu impeachment notice. Finally, for me, uh, before moving to Ibrahim, first news. Reckless printing of money under Buhari caused inflation. Finance Minister says accuses ex-governors, ex-president's government of printing Naira for eight years without productivity. FG threatens to revoke Disco's licenses over poor electricity supply, summons ADC as well as the Bado Electricity, Disco, and TCN. A mid-dollar inducement allegation, Edo Assembly begins Shaibu's impeachment proceedings. Ekiti, APC chairman of Motosho, dies. And uh, regarding the uh, Shaibu controversy, Oshomole, former governor of the state and now senator, says, I have no hand in Obaseki's renewed plot against Shaibu. Ibrahim. Right, um, Voice of Liberty is the first with me, and then it has a lot, lot, and lot of uh, headlines here. Uh, food smuggling, federal government intercepts 141 grain trucks, drivers threaten strike. Uh, Bainway, 40, including seven family members killed in militia gang war. Road crashes kill more Nigerians than insecurity, police PRO. Terrorism, bandits attack where there is no military presence, defense minister. Clock ticks for DSS, DIA, DGs, IGP. And farmers in North pay bandits up to 100,000 to farm, as according to reports. Alleged 7.6 billion Naira fraud. Appeal court strikes out federal government suit to get a seeking Kalu's retrial. Nemasa refutes over 1.5 trillion Naira dollars fraud allegation against its DG. That's about it for the Voice of Liberty. The West is next. Food security, Lagos, Niger, uh, Lagos, Niger, seal deal. And then Navy discovers, dis Navy discovers, destroys four illegal oil refineries in Ondo. Three remanded in prison over a Badon explosion. Harsh weather in May, in March, April, May, uh, may cause more malaria across Nigeria. Harsh weather in March, April, may cause more malaria acro um, across Nigeria. Right, uh, NIMET forecast, actually. Lassa fever is here again. Oshun government approves new monarch for IRE. And then suspected killers of Ikiti monarch remanded in prison. 28 fresh job openings in Lagos, Abel Kota, and then we've also got above the, uh, below the masthead, Shatima hands over stores to 200 Ogun traders at a direct factory. Street traders get seven-day ultimatum in Oyo. And then Obasanjo launches new book at 87. Interesting.